It is a full 11 changes for Liam Rossini's team tonight. And quite notably, a significant debut from the youth department for the Tigers tonight. We'll start with the goalkeeper, Ingram in goal. A back three tonight of Andy Smith, Sean McLaughlin, and a debut for Stan Ashby, following on in his father's footsteps after he played for the final time in Black and Amber back in February 2011. Aliar and James Furlong on debut tonight. They are the wing backs, Doherty and Vaughan in the centre. Lakilo and Sellers Fleming, we expect to be either side of Billy Sharp. So four full debuts in the 11 tonight. Three junior, one senior for the Tigers tonight. On the bench, Timothy Latutala, Louis Coyle, Jacob Greaves, Alfie Jones, Ozan Tufam, Tyler Morton, Regan Slater and Nathan Tinsdale. Jordan James in possession now, shot coming in and Birmingham just wide of the target was Keshi Anderson striking, little deflection on the way through, behind for a corner kick. He will have a take two here of a throw in towards Sellers Fleming by the byline, Furlong with the chance to stand up across, well met on the head by Aliar Syed Manesh but he headed it into the ground and John Ruddy the very experienced goalkeeper able to make a routine stop so it's nil nil still. On the run is Billy Sharp as Bielik has just miscontrolled it on his thigh. Sharp waiting for some support around him. Sharp will hold it up for Furlong. Into the area, Lakilo, it's in! Jason Lakilo with his first Hull City goal. He arrived on time in the penalty area. The hold up play and experience from Sharp. The cross from Furlong. And it's Hull City this time who strike early in the FA Cup. 11 minutes gone, Birmingham nil, Hull City one. Ball over the top finds Burke. Burke is in behind Furlong. He's going to now try and cut it across to an unmarked Longello. It's pushed away by Ingram. Anderson collects it inside the penalty area, left-hand side. Now to Longello again, two in front of him in black and amber. And poor control from the fullback. But Liam Rossini, once that ball went over the top to find Ollie Burke, turned away knowing that Furlong had been beaten. The kilo has the ball in central midfield position. It's forward towards Sellers. Fleming looks to have temporarily shrugged off his man. He's into the area. Sellers Fleming, low shot, but easily saved by Ruddy. Just put his hands down. Made sure he formed a little block behind to make sure it didn't go underneath his body in comedic fashion will be delivered by Bakuna it's going to cause a few problems Jordan James five yards out trying to get a touch and then bicycle kicked back towards Christian Bielik who heads it wide of goal that was a dangerous opportunity for Birmingham City who in the area have looked relatively strong Billy Sharp facing his own penalty area now stepping into it big press from Birmingham it's going to force Ashby to get rid of the ball down the line. He's done well to find Sellers Fleming, but his touch only finds Gardner. Bakuna, neat spin away from Doherty, striking from distance, pushed away by Ingram. As Ingram from his penalty area sends the ball flying right. Aliar meets it well on the head. Sharp is going to try and fend the ball away from Bielik. He's done really well. Aliar now heading towards the penalty area. And it's a through ball now for Sellers Fleming. He gets the shot away, but well saved by Ruddy. It needed to be low and under him, but instead it was a good height for Ruddy to dive and push the ball away to his right-hand side. As it goes back again towards Ingram. Ingram outside his penalty area. Plays the ball through the middle to Billy Sharp. Drops it back to Doherty. Loses possession. Danger now for Birmingham. Bielik won it. Ashby slides in. He had to time his tackle. Jordan James reconnects. Shoots a goal wide of the target. Big opportunity. Ashby's tackle looked to be good at first. Jordan James, though, was able to gather. Close call for Birmingham City. And Slater gets ready to come on. Will Slater just go into a position maybe for Aliar as Miyoshi from 20 yards out has a shot and it's parried by Ingram into the net for Birmingham and Jay Stansfield scores 
and Ingram will be disappointed because I think he could have pushed that away from the penalty area, either left or right, straight out to Stansfield. Birmingham City are level after 66 minutes. Doherty in the centre circle, he's gone looking for Lakilo out wide. Lakilo controls it. Coyle joining him with those fresh legs as well. Lakilo into the penalty area, stands up across, two fans header caught by Ruddy. Both sides just momentarily trying to unlock each other's defence in a more direct fashion. Doherty has given it away. Sunchich, 30 yards out now for Dembele. Shoots at goal, wide of the target. I thought that might have been dropping in from this angle, but wider it went. Have the ball in the defence. Smith to Ingram, stumbles. And will Hull City keep it in play on that far side? They just give themselves a dilemma because they've kicked it out for a throw-in. Birmingham City, however, squander possession. Doherty, has it come off a Birmingham man? No. Stansfield keeps it in play. Miyoshi can't get the necessary touch. He can now. And Birmingham City in the 94th minute have looked like they're going to dump Hull City out of the FA Cup.